that there's a distinct difference in the types of patients that we're attracting at, in an academic center that's part of a large health system versus the naturopathic doctor that might be in private practice. Because I did private practice for about 12 years. The, the patients that we attract in private practice tend to be educated, younger female patients that already have a tendency for wanting to live healthy lives. So these were patients that were health conscious and were looking for a different type of medicine to support them through their challenges or to set goals and actually prevent disease. It's such a positive and such a um, such a rewarding population to work with. It's a lot of younger families, a lot of mid-age women, so from 30 to 50 to 60. That's the bulk of the patients that tend to seek out naturopathic care, but they also bring it to their families. When I joined UCI, what happened was I, I realized that there's an entirely different population of patients that access care through academic health centers. And by being present within an academic center, we open that door to those patients to seek us out. Sometimes not, not um, even willingly, but out of despair. And that really changed the type of patients that we started to see. We started to see patients who were part of a system that previously didn't acknowledge whole person health or whole health. They, it didn't really promote wellness and prevention as much as what naturopathic doctors might. And what happened was we saw a lot of patients were being referred to us by the different specialists, by the different doctors within the system, within UCI, who had reached the end of the rope. They, they tried a lot of different medication, they tried surgery, and they just weren't arriving to any any sort of answers when it came to patients' health concerns. And so we were the last ditch effort or the last sort of hope for the patient. And so we went from having a much more predictable patient population, which was, you know, 80% females between 20 and 60 who are already educated and have an interest in health and wellness and lifestyle medicine to patients who had very little knowledge of wellness and, and, and preventive medicine, but were desperate to, to get answers for conditions that were chronic and were, was getting limited response or benefit from conventional medicine. And so that meant a lot of more complicated or complex cases, multiple chronic diseases, comorbidities, and, and that became a much more challenging population for us to work with. And we had to really adapt some of our ways in, in how we work with those patients, because now we had to bring in more behavioral therapy, more motivational interviewing skills, more shared decision making, you know, a lot of education to bring patients to that baseline level where they can now actually comply and, and function in response to some of our recommendations. It just took longer for them to get to where we needed them to be to make those choices.